What's happening, guys? Welcome back to the Lunar Dark Nuzlocke. First of all, I want to apologize. Uh, it's been way too long since the last episode. Uh, the reason for that is because I actually had a spontaneous trip to California back to my parents' house. Uh, we had a little bit of a, a family issue going on. Uh, but as I came back, I found out that my computer was actually left plugged in during a thunder and lightning storm. Um, somehow, it fried like my power source and graphics card, which was super annoying. Uh, we got that all taken care of, though, and we should be pretty much back to schedule. Uh, so I do apologize for the bit of the delay there, but I'm back, and we better than ever. So we have Donna following us here. Um, I do want to note that I did do a little bit of grinding to Donna and Ranja. I did actually realize that I think we have a... I don't know if there's even a gym in this city, but um, I do think that we're actually about to do a bunch of water type stuff. So probably not the best to have our um, poison and ground type and fire and ghost trained up for now. We can probably just kind of work at these things later. But for now, let's go ahead and take the EXP share from you since you're level 35, Ranja. We're going to give it to... We're going to give it to Donna. And uh, I do think that this thing actually evolves soon. And I'm excited to see what that's all about um, we'll give you that there exp share and let's actually give the lucky egg should probably be taking advantage of the fact that i have a lucky egg i always kind of forget to use this but we'll give it to charlotte and let's actually put you in front so we have some unfinished business to take care of back at the cafe area and then we're pretty much supposed to head to the lighthouse so let's go see what else is going on in this place this is full of trainers that we've like seen in the past apparently what's up buddy Oh, wow, you're still on your journey? We battled on Route 2 near the river. So, this guy's, uh, he moved up in the world. Fisherman guy has uh, got three Pokemon. Now he has an Angelite, level 36. I don't think this thing is fairy. We're going to cross poison you just in case. But uh, that's neutral. It is going to kill it in two hits, so that's good. Heart stamp. Looks like my health bar was a little bit laggy there. But So, Angelite being level 36, I think we're probably okay here on most of the team. Now, uh, we get to 45 there. That lucky egg going to help us out a bit. Trying to learn Sticky Web, uh, which is actually interesting. That would be kind of good. I don't think we're going to learn Sticky Web. More of a competitive thing, although I guess that would kind of work out, but whatever. Next is a Shrimpoon. What in the hell is a Shrimpoon? I don't think we've seen a Shrimpoon before. It kind of reminds me of that Scorpion thing, but this is, this is a different freaking thing. This is a Shrimp, and it looks Fire-type because that tail... And I don't want anything to do with that. You know what? We're going to go right into our buddy Marvin here, who should probably get some levels. Um, I'm not sure what levels to expect, but I think being around level 45 is probably what we're, looking, what we're looking for. I think this thing is actually a fire water type, which would be amazing to have. But we're going to give you a lightning strike. See if you like that, sir. That'll probably kill you. Yep, that knocks it out. See you later, Shrimp Poon. I don't know why you have Poon in your name, but I'm not just gonna, I'm not going to question it. Um, we are going to stay in here. That said, Aqua. Yeah, Smak, Smakwa. Smakwa. This is the evolved form of Roundhouse. Uh, we've never seen one of these things before. You know, a lot of these trainers are, seem to have stuff that we haven't seen before, which is pretty cool. Uh, this thing's going to hit us with an Aqua Jet, which is fine. And a Lightning Strike should do the trick. So, Roundhouse gets a little a little cooler looking. I don't know. That's kind of a weird... Definitely a weird Pokemon there. We do go... Got a 45 looking good. I need a new rod. That sounds like quite the bummer, buddy. And we have this lady hanging out here. I think these are the last two we needed to battle. My Pokemon have a wonderful, have still a wonderful aroma. I will show you. All right, we're gonna go ahead and smell this lady's Pokemon real quick just to see what she's working with. Lady Shirley's got an Eco Buzz. I think we've seen Eco Buzz before, right? We're gonna just go ahead and uh, X Scissor you. Grass type lad is not gonna like that too much. See you later, Echo Eco Buzz. Next is a Kalua. Um, have we seen Kalua before? Is this is this the freaking it's this thing? Yeah, we've we've definitely seen you before. Um, X scissor, I think. Yep. He's boy grass type too, or girl. Go knock you out. We should probably just get to the damn lighthouse after this. I need to see what the hell's going on over there. Donna goes to 35, trying to learn Spiky Shield. And that's actually pretty decent for a Nuzlocke. Um, Spiky Shield is essentially like protect, but if they hit you with an attack that um, directly, like, physically makes contact, they actually take damage. Um, that could be nice to just to kind of scout out some stuff. For some reason, we have Steamroller. I'm thinking probably of getting rid of Steamroller. If we can learn Steamroller, we, we could probably learn x which could be good. Let's see. Let's get rid of Steamroller. I mean, 65 power. 
it is actually a decent move but i think spiky shield might be just a safe option for us to have here so we're gonna go ahead and get some spiky shield next is a horse shush what the hell is a horse shush oh my god it's this thing i don't know if we've seen the evolved form of this thing yet but we definitely have seen the previous form of this freaking weird my little pony ass grass horse i don't know about this thing man hits us with some leaf darts and an x scissor is gonna knock it out nice charlotte look at you buddy charlotte has lasted forever so donna gets some experience as well oh no your pokemon did not smell that great okay uh so let's actually probably switch it up here we could go with happy in front we'll get happy to third uh 46 before and then uh, let's do it also do want to note that at the end of last episode i as i was doing a little bit of grinding i actually went in and i sold most of my like um expensive items so i got some a decent amount of money we have a bunch of stuff i can actually i think i do have enough potions for now but so we'll probably be okay but i just want to note that i kind of cleared out the bag a little bit which i've been meaning to do for a long time but all right we're healed up and i believe we just had this way yep this is where the lighthouse is what is happening over here i'm a lighthouse expert there's bill's lighthouse in kanto glitter lighthouse in olivine and we don't think we talked to this guy already this guy's just all about lighthouses extensive seems quite extensive sir all right so here we are not really sure what to expect in here young trainers come here from all around the rakota region to battle in the lighthouse if you make it to the top floor you can battle the lighthouse keeper and if you win he'll let you use his pokemon flying service why don't you try it out okay so this is kind of like a gym i guess helps ships sail safely so that they don't crash into the rainbow reef very cool um so there's a guy at the top highest floor of the lighthouse lives a man with the name beacon his name is beacon he lives at the top of the lighthouse how fitting is that always wanted to be a gym leader but he didn't get the license <laughs> so this lighthouse is like a gym but you don't get a badge if you beat him he founded the pokemon flying service which makes the hidden move fly redundant so we'll be able to fly after this which is actually pretty great and uh that'll make our lives a whole lot easier and it looks like we just have ourselves some trainers here so what is going on with you buddy take the spotlight terravolt okay he's got a terravolt probably a bad idea to have our water ice lad in front so terravolt level 38 kind of spooky we could probably take an attack from this thing but it's also probably really not worth risking let's just go right into marvin who i think is uh pretty fit to handle this thing volt switch is what we get alerted by that's that, that's fine electro ball doesn't do much marvin electric as hell we just soaked that shit up and you are electric flying i believe so this should be should be neutral uh, this thing has nothing against marvin i always i kind of forget that marvin is also part psychic i should really try to make note of that more i feel like i'm gonna forget on a matchup and just mess up somehow so this thing does volt switch into another terra volt okay cool well we're just gonna give you a side shock here to finish you off how about that more electro balls so doesn't do much knocks it down to nearly half we're probably good gonna need to get a little bit of a heal going because marvin is pretty damn helpful and i'm actually glad that i'm at the level i am because it seems like this is a little bit scary todd's just gonna come at me with his half dead ass terra volt the iron dolt what the hell was it what the hell was that what did this thing just do well side shock is gonna kill it very nice todd's been defeated lights out get ourselves some money hey yes it's happening donna is evolving the absolute unit is about to turn into freaking godzilla or some type of nido queen tyranitar ass looking thing i think i have seen this before as i was like doing some research on this game but look at this beast i actually really a snap hike i really like this thing dude that is awesome we got ourselves a snap hike boys well let's take a look at you donna you're a okay this is like a has a really cool design um so poison point we have look at that attack stat not too shabby also some decent defense is actually pretty quick too love to see it all right now we have uh, a double battle here it seems and that's kind of scary you should probably not put donna in front we'll put happy and dracula i think that seems like a safe option what's going on with you ladies double trouble battle that one lady just walked up what are you doing emily and amelia have a horse ush and a fox of nice okay so another horse ush we can handle we can handle horse ush this thing's not too scary let's just give you a nice little uh well here's what we're gonna do we're actually going to quick attack it and then 
I'm kind of afraid of the Fox event because I know that things fairy type in Dracula probably doesn't like that too much. I think we could take at least an attack from it though. So Happy's quick attack is going to get a lot of damage off on this thing, which actually nearly kills it. I probably didn't need to focus this thing down so much, but let's just hope that this Fox event doesn't uh, go for a fairy move on Dracula. But being level 38, I think we could take at least one. He's going to Draining Kiss and it lands on Happy. So perfect. Thank you for that. Yeah, dumb fox. And we'll just finish you off. Go quick attack. And we'll go acrobatics again. Double battles scare the shit out of me, man. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. So, acrobatics go and take this thing out. And we have succeeded. Dracula does grow to 46. Looking nice. Emily and Amelia. Double loss. Adorable name, by the way. Names. Okay. So, we got some more trainers. I wonder how many people there are to battle here. We should probably... Should probably heal up before we continue. We just have this last lemonade. Might as well use that. I also need to stock up on lemonades. Um, we're just going to get back to full because I'm afraid of things dying. I have, I have an irrational fear of especially freaking happy dying. We're going to go hyper potion on Marvin as well. Who doesn't really need the hyper. But let's just make sure that you're good to go, buddy. All right. What's up, lady? Let's go. Lot pug. Let's get a lot pug, huh? Okay, that's the freaking weird wiggly, wiggly tough looking ass with the... Yep, hands on its ears. Okay, level 39. So, okay, a little bit a little bit scary, huh? We'll give you a scald. Now that we've got that hot water, Happy's taking advantage of that. Double hit. Okay. One hit per hand ear. And one more scald's going to do it. So that's all this lady had. You are not very threatening, lady. You freaking lot pug. We get a bunch of experience there. Should probably be switching around the lucky egg, but I think we're at decent enough levels, so... Time to put my studies in practice. This guy's a freaking nerd. Let's see it then, friend. School kid Locky, has got three Pokemon. He has a pool dog. We have seen Pupool, but we have not seen pool dog. And that's actually kind of funny. Okay, it intimidates us, which is annoying. Um, let's just go ahead and switch right out of here. Let's go right into Marvin, who does need to be level 46, but I think we're probably close. Yeah, we're close. Alerted to Aqua Slam. It has Aqua Jets. And this thing is actually a pretty cool thing. So a nice water pit bull physical attacker water boy i like it lightning strike should do the job though down goes your pool dog what a what a great name pup pool and then pool dog they really they really could have done better <laughs> with the nicknames or the names in this shit man marvin grows to 46 next is a scorpionova that is the freaking that's the the ground fire scorpion that we could have potentially had i think we have seen scorpionova um, we had the preform of this, and then my dumbass killed it. Of course, everything I touch dies. Uh, but we're gonna give you a scald. I think we'll be okay here. Level 37. That is just gonna knock you out. See you later, Nova. We also probably could be using Donna. Oh, did not see what he's about to send in there. It's an Eclipser. And uh, what the hell type is this thing again, man? I always forget this thing's type. Did we try Bulldoze? Was it Steel type? It was Steel type. Okay, we're good. Bulldoze almost knocks it out. Not quite. Eclipsers go and get that speed drop. Is this the thing that has contrary? Oh, fuck. It has power gem. Oh, my God. Power gem knocks us down to 14 HP. Holy shit. We're just going to finish you with a quick attack. My God. I thought Happy was just about to die. Jesus. I think it's rock type or something. Okay. Wow. Happy. Sweet Jesus, buddy. We cannot let that happen to you. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, we're going to Hyper Potion you back to full. And um, I think we'll just leave it happy for now. Like I was saying, we could probably be using Donna, but I also don't want anything to freaking happen to that thing because it is absolutely my baby and my cool shiny. So over here we have an empty trash, and it looks like we have ourselves a double battle, uh, which is always a scary time. But you know what? For this, we're going to actually pretty much waste this here hyper potion on marvin we just want to make sure that everything's at full especially because double battles are scary as hell don't know what to expect here last floor before the lighthouse keeper you think you can beat me the best has been saved for last i won't go easy all right ladies and gents we're about to get to the lighthouse keeper they have two pokemon each so riley and ace we got a ruby op okay level 39 and a cyflock holy shitty okay shitty titties the cyflock Looking pretty damn cool. We have not seen one of these things before. Um, I am a little bit afraid here because I do know that Rubyop being a 
fighting ground type, I'm pretty sure. We probably don't want to take a fighting move onto Happy. Here's what we're going to do. Let's quick attack that thing and then also acrobatics it. We're going to double team the Ruby because I think that thing's the most scary. I believe it's the biggest threat. Ooh, quick attack actually knocks it out. My god. Quick attack coming in clutch with that ability. And acrobatics goes ahead and lands on the Cyflock, which perfect. We get a critical hit. That is actually a really cool. We've seen the, the peacock thing, the little baby one up version of that thing. Next is a platy pla <laughs> platy plash. Look at what who, who did my man Psyduck like this? Hello? Also, there's a Cabalta. And oh fuck, this is bad. This is really bad. But we don't like any we don't like this matchup on either. Um Cabalta could probably do a lot to happy. I think that. I need to go into both Donut and Marvin here. I'm really afraid of that electric attack. Let's switch Happy into... We'll go Marvin. Because then we could Psy Shock the Cabalta. And then I think we also should switch in Donna here. Because if an electric attack goes on either slot, I think we, we're, we're close to dying. Cabalta is freaking scary, man. Okay. So we get a nice little double switch here. Uproar. That's fine. Okay, Cabalta's gonna scary face, actually, which is totally fine. And Platy Plash is gonna uproar. Alright. That's totally fine. This thing's over here just causing a ruckus. We're gonna go ahead and Psy Shock the Cobra. And then we will... Bulldo... Oh, uh-oh. I just fucked up. I used Bulldoze and I forgot that Bulldoze attacks everybody. Oh, what have I done? Hello? The Cabalta even lived. Oh, uh, this is a terrible idea. Why did I use Bulldoze? Oh my god, we live in. We lived it. <laughs> Holy shit, yes. I forgot Bulldoze worked like freaking Earthquake, man. Oh my god. I am so scary at double battles. Why am I like this? <laughs> Holy shit. It's Dracula like 47. Wow. That could have been fucking terrible. My god. The turns just never end either. You never know what's going to freaking happen. Okay. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and use this max potion because I can. Actually, I could just use a hyper. No sense in using the max. Oh my god. I was the tightest butthole right there. All right. Uh, Donna, we're going to go ahead and need to be careful with you. Let's just... Um What, what type is this freaking platy flash and did that I did that item not even not even use pretty sure it did okay we're good we're good we're gonna spike a shield how about that okay we hyper potion Marvin back up to full this angry ass beaver over here you guys remember that show the angry beavers that shit was awesome okay it uproars on Donna this time perfect and this thing calmed down all right so now we can just go ahead <laughs> this thing looks ground type because he browned his health so we're just gonna side shock and then we're going to go ahead and just play it safe here and go for another spiky shield, which really does not matter. It, okay, it fails. Should have just attacked. Oh my god, it lived it. Muddy water? Thank god it didn't attack Donna. Oh wait, it does attack Donna. Oh my god! We lived it with one HP. Muddy water is also a dual attacking move, and Donna just came in fucking clutch right there. Holy shit, dude. This double battle is scaring the tits out of me. I almost just killed Donna. It, why didn't my double protect work, man? <laughs> I should not have tried to go for that. Holy shit. Okay. W literally one HP. There is a god. Sweet Jesus. All right. Marvin's going to finish off the Plotty Plash. Bruh. Bruh. Yo, that, that was weird. A freaking... One of my Twitch notifications just happened. <laughs> what was that? So you win. So close. Okay. Yeah. Sorry if you just heard that notification come up, but that was weird. All right. My God. I am scared. But everybody's back to f everybody's at full, and we're we're pretty much good except for Marvin. Marvin, we're gonna just probably need to use another hyper po oh, potion. I need to actually buy some more items now that I think about it. I thought I was good on items, but apparently not. We're just going to use... I, I need just regular lemonade. So why am I using hyper potions to heal like 20 HP? The world may never know, but we're going to do it anyway because... Fuck it. We, may, we have so much money, it doesn't even matter. All right. So here we are at the top. 
And uh, this guy here probably has water type boy, flying type boys. We're going to put Marvin in front. Talking about how he's all flying shit. Okay, hello? What's up? Ah, you made it all the way to the top. Congratulations. Now let me introduce myself. I'm Beacon, the lighthouse keeper. I like after this lighthouse and I make sure that everything keeps running so the light doesn't go out. Nice. That's not all. Also the founder of the Pokemon Flying Service. When I was younger and traveling the region, I always thought that HM moves are not necessary. I agree. Freaking Pokemon slaves, man. So I founded the Pokemon Flying Service, which allows you to you via a whistle to call one of my Pokemon, which flies you to the place you want. What the hell? He doesn't like HMs, but he just pimps his Pokemon out to do it for everybody? What is this? But to use my service, I decided to only allow trainers to use it if they can handle to beat me. So you ready to give it a try? Let's do it. So this is technically like a gym battle here. And this guy has four Pokemon, so Beacon coming at us with four. He leads off with a Swelligant. Whoa there, level 40. That thing is awesome looking. It's like a cooler Swana. We're just going to give you a lightning strike, see how you like that. Uh, hits us with a bubble beam, so that'll kind of hurt a little bit. Not too bad. Yeah, lightning strike should do the trick here, as this thing's probably... Kind of looks like it would be water flying. I don't know, Swelligant. That thing's pretty cool, though. Anyway, one down. Next is an Aroma. Which is... Have we seen Aroma? We're just going to stay in here. Happy is also going to be good. For some reason, I think this is also grass type. Oh, wait, it's this freaking thing. Okay, I think we're okay here. Just going to go for a Giga Drain on us. That's totally fine. Good thing I didn't switch into Happy. I was like, this name sounds familiar. Um, but a Lightning Strike is actually just neutral because this thing's freaking grass. Oh, jeez. All right, Marv. Let's, uh... Give it a side shock then, shall we? Oh, shit, it has U-turn. No, thank God. Whew. Super effective U-turn is annoying, uh, but we live in. Marvin ain't going to go down to that. Luckily, we're six levels higher, and he goes into the Blimpoon. And the side shock does nothing. Okay, um, Blimpoon, huh? Maybe Donna. Oh, shit, this thing's level 41, though. Scary. What is Blimpoon going to do? Is this a freaking steel flying type? I wish Ronja was higher level now. I should have trained this thing up. I thought we were going to have like a water gym, man. Um, maybe I go into Happy and just... I think Happy seems pretty safe here. I don't... What can I hit this freaking thing with, man? Is it flying steel? I don't really want to get hit by a steel move, but I think we're going to go into Happy here. Should have actually just gone for an electric attack had I stayed in and just healed up there. Squall blow. Bro, what the fuck is squall squall blow? Hello? Okay, um. We can take another one. But if it crits us, I'm gonna be pissed off. We're just gonna go for a scald here as it's actually faster, hits me with another squall blow. No crit no crit, thank you. Thank you, God. Scald does not burn, unfortunately, but as long as we don't get critted here, I think we'll be okay. We've had luck on our side so far today. We are going to Hyper Potion you, buddy. Get you back to full. Squall Blow. Mirror Shot now. Okay. So that's fine. Um, one more Scald should do the trick here. Now it's going to Tailwind, actually. I'm going to Tailwind before it goes down. We have Quick Attack, though, which I probably should be using, but I don't think it really... I think Scald actually is a better option for us. I mean, probably fine. Marvin trying to learn Trick Room. Very interesting. We're not going to... I don't think we're going to go for an in-game Trick Room set. That doesn't sound like a good idea at all. Happy to get some experience. Next is the Aroma again. We're going to go ahead and switch into Dracula for this thing. I think Dracula can handle that. If we can get out of this without losing anybody, we're calling this a win. All right, Aroma. You do not want an Acrobatics thing is faster hits us with a giga drain which is totally fine it all depends on what else this dude has your parrot boy taking this acrobatics to the face and down you go very cool and legendix is that the phoenix thing that's totally that phoenix thing isn't it um it would be very nice to have marvin up to full let's go into marvin here um, we're going to heal Marvin. I think that this our, it's our best option here. Have we seen this freaking thing before? Legendix? Yeah, we've totally seen this. Squall Blow. Okay, that's um, 
just a flying move, I assume. Okay, it's level 42. Dude, if this does over half to us, we're kind of we're kind of in a bad spot, boys. All right, we're going to go ahead and give you this. Get you back to full. Mystical fire. Okay. All right, doesn't do very much at all. Does lower my special attack, though, which is awful. We freaking need that. Should I Volt Switch? I think Dracula could take an attack and then also hit pretty hard. Let's try that. Let's go for a Volt Switch here. It does get us with a Squall Blow, which does absolutely nothing. Obviously. And, okay, we, we really should have just... I should not have Volt Switched there. I'm freaking rusty, man. I haven't played in weeks. <laughs> this is awful. All right. Uh, Dracula, probably. We could take... We could take shit from this thing. Or we just going to happy, but this thing's fire flying. I could hit it with a good scald, but then squall blow. Should I should have just freaking stayed in. Why am I like this? I don't know, but you know, makes it more interesting, I guess. Okay, there's the freaking tailwind going away. Let's just go for Let's go for a crunch rather than an acrobatics, because we will get some health back here and we might even kill. No, it doesn't quite kill. That's fine. Does get us back to full though, so we're at a good spot against this thing's mystical fire. And uh, we good. That was my special attack. We Gucci. One more crunch is gonna do the trick. And Legendix, fake Ho Oh, is dead as hell. Yeet. Donna to level 40, trying to learn Poison Jab, which is perfect. We definitely need that. That's a nice poison move for us, buddy. Get rid of Poison Tail, because Poison Jab is 80 base power. And we're moving up in the world. Now, if we could just get Earthquake, that thing's set up. You have amazing skills. Thank you, sir. That was a tough battle for your effort. I award you this. And we obtained a service whistle. So now we can just summon this guy's bird Pokemon to come fly us around. You can use it to call one of my Pokemon, which flies you to every city you've visited already. Use the service whistle whenever you want, and I hope we can battle again someday. Well, very good. We did not lose anybody. I played like absolute garbage, but somehow, some way, we survived pulling out the grass there's no there's no grass here dude well guys we're gonna end the episode here uh, leave a la leave, leave a comment and hit that like button if you enjoyed if i could figure out how to talk i will see you guys next time peace out